Hello. Oh, people, it is I, Raven Ring, and as soon as my things can will load up, up I will start. <sighs> okay, that was weird. Heard? Welcome to. The Hello, my name is Raven Ring. Today I will be your guide. Today's game you're being guided through is Grin Saya. In the last step. Episode, we got the Earth Relic and the guy who gave us the Earth Relic wouldn't give us in the first place because we had to get something in a temple and and he is a jerk butt. Today's episode I will be using Dingo because I thought he could use some love because I haven't really been using him as of recently. Now the game really doesn't tell you where to go in this case so just go up north went where the town is at and you should be so, you should be where you go. Before I forget, I should change my formation and put Dingo in the front. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why I keep forgetting to change formation, and every time I do, is just... Oh, uh, crud. The reason why I keep forgetting to change formations is just... I do it so much, it's just... I don't think... Like, I know I said, like, when I got Dingo, I wouldn't keep any promises I can't keep any promises is because this, wait do you have to go east or I actually don't remember like I know I said I I can't keep that promise but I am trying my best to keep this promise and so far I've kept it and I'm gonna go see if you need to go here first or not. If we don't, then just completely ignore what you see. I said I wouldn't keep any promises, and so far I've kept that promise, but oh crud. This is a dead end. I'll be right back. Man, all these guys are spineless. Anyways, I know I said I couldn't keep any promises, but like, I'm gonna try to keep it as best as I can and at least acknowledge it as a promise because I just, you know, it's just, I made it, you know? You can't exactly ignore a promise. Yes, and I. Whoops. Oh, also, I gave my hero a like a a life crystal, so his HP will be increased a lot higher when we leveled up. Oh boy. Wait right, now. Man, why do these things even bar attacking us? They do like like almost. No damage to us, so why bother? Or right, anyways, you gotta go over here and <sighs> anyways, you're supposed to go over here on this piece, big piece of island, I guess. And there's a dungeon at the end of it. It's man, I should really start using. <laughs> I'll be right back. Anyways, as I was saying, I should probably use camouflage more since these enemies encounter. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now. Our camouflage per decreases the encounter rate for 300 steps, which is very can be very useful if you're getting annoyed by random encounter. There's, or if you're like me and you're insane. And man, why didn't we automatically skip that? Anyway, is you're supposed to go oh at the end of this big chunk of island and at the end of it is a dungeon. And in this dungeon there's gonna be a old glass ball, so yay. The cave of flames. Now in this Oh I forgot I didn't bring my healer. 
I I should also mention that I bought a lot of uh, cure plums. Like I bought not a lot of them. I don't know exactly how many I bought, but I did buy a lot of them. Oh wait, I just realized these are new enemies. I was gonna cut saying we've seen these before, but no, these are new enemies. Um, and for the most part, or just use ice on these guys. Ice and as you can see here, the enemies are getting a lot tougher. And I sort of de-equipped all the panic nulls because I just thought to myself, well, I kind of need these anymore, so I don't have any of the panic nulls on my characters anymore. Or, and as you can see, the game is getting a lot tougher. You're supposed to use safety boots, but really, safety's, safety's for losers. There's... In case you haven't noticed in this entire playthrough, I've kind of been a daredevil. Well, now there is a... Now I'm kind of listening to what the phone says because I just... It might may be my parents and stuff. Like, the old glass... The passage of where the old glass bottle is hidden, so... You want a map for this place. Overly one side battle is overly one sided. And anyway, he's a slant, a sl salamander dragon that reduces fire damage by 30, by plus 30 f for anyone. And so, yeah. Anyways, uh, my dog is getting really annoying. And my dog, when he's locked up, he never shuts up. Up, and I can pro and I already know that's probably getting on all of your nerves. And a uh, Mithril, or a uh, or To my knowledge, this is the only one in the game. And I don't know if there's more in the game. Or you can use this indefinitely, but as far as my knowledge, this is the only one in the game, so use it wisely. Wait, um, I think I'm gonna use camouflage again because. Actually. Here I am. Debate. Hard to be found by enemies because I'm just. I'm at the point in the game where just random encounters are getting very annoying. Shop that shit is OP, but then again, hero is OP in general. Well, actually, wait. How many souvenirs? Wow, I have 58 of these. I might as well use them. Again, the game gives you. Again, I have not bought a single souvenir in the game, and I have 58 of them. And again, this game does generally drop a lot of basic. Like. Like. Oh. Oh. For some reason, and whenever you cannot carry any more of anything, it says found physical, and found and physical are one word. I don't know if this only applies to this treasure chest in the game, or that implies that everything. And my guess is that it's just they didn't really expect you to have maximum physical cures when you found this chest but they really should have because again enemies drop a lot of for some reason I don't anyways what I was saying is that I accidentally cut out was just I have not bought a sink no no physical cure in the entire game, and I still have the maximum amount. Now, again, the real only, really, the only thing you can get, you want to find here, is, there is the hidden passage, and uh, swept like today, yesterday's garbage. Any, wait, there's the hidden chest I was talking about. Now to get it, just simply walk straight. And a glass bottle. Well, that is four of twenty, so we're getting somewhat close. 
transfer stone that teleports you. You really useful if you don't have the but at this point you should have the teleport skill, but very useful if you, if you very useful if you don't have any cure plums or PP left and uh, keep getting interrupted by battles. Uh actually am I going uh I don't remember. It's been a while. Part of me has been debating to save the my current game over another save file and just play it there because I am a lot of my knowledge about the dungeons is really rusty. As you can probably as you probably heard earlier, or I don't know where I'm going. By the way, there's a boss at the end of here in Oh, for a second there, I thought there was no teleporter. It's like, usually there's a teleporter to signify a boss. Yes. So we're gonna rest at the end, and... Okay, we're back. Next, so let's go to the Cave of Flames, and... And there goes my map. A dragon will certainly it lives up to its name as king of all monsters. What with the fire breath and all that, my research tells me that dragon scales can repel all kinds of magic. I hope there's still magic away. My magic can harm it. Brow. Okay. Blah 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 blah. <coughs> Ned. Uh, that's my dog barking at me. Hey, up. Ned. I'm busy. Um, and this dragon here, he can be pretty tough, but, uh, but I've really said that about, at, ooh, death, uh, should I use death cloud or use something else? Eh, death cloud. Physical, um, Dingo learned sharp for us, which can cause harmonage and, And I just realized I, with all power activating, I kind of don't have anything that, well, I did, but until I used my special attack, like, uh, ooh, smash dive, that is a very powerful attack at this point. And luckily, Arena kind of got, got some of it back. Uh, actually, should I just break rush or rapid? keep rapid slicing this flame dragon over and over. For the most part, you're gonna be seeing... In me using rapid slice a lot. On bosses. Mainly because it's a very good move to have, and it can critical all of it, walk with it hitting two to three times. And zip. Oh no, poison. Um, question, should I spend Hero's turn reviving him, or... Nah. Is he really worth it, is the question. Eh. I'm probably not gonna use Dingo a lot, and... You're probably gonna see Dingo the second we see... I remember you're not gonna... You're gonna probably see less than him is is a future m member we're gonna be getting in pretty soon. And then now I'm you probably n notice a lot of strain in my voice, and that's because I'm kind of just I'm kind of afraid that I'm accidentally cutting the whole time. I mean I don't mean to. And watch my hit. Uh, I really hate it when you spend a turn. Someone's turn reviving someone and they just immediately die. I had to turn to revive. It's just like, ugh. Uh, uh, what should I use? Should I use a high potion? And because you can. at this point in the game and they heal for a lot uh, to buy a lot I mean they heal for 200 HP which is kind of insane and considering you 
if you don't grind, grind you won't have that much. Actually, again, Smash Dive is very powerful, so be wary. I wouldn't have this be having this much trouble if I bought somebody else, but no, I had to bring Dingo. If I lose this, I will bring Greg or Elisha. Uh, restore the potion. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. And it's because I don't have my healer, and I'm probably dead. No, I have a chance. Although I kind of doubt I will. Uh, if I really don't want to lose just because I want to switch party members. Should I spend... I mean... I mean, I really don't want to lose this just because I decided to bring a different team member. Or, oh, that was close. That was, oh no. Ugh. I really don't want Hero to die at all because he is one the best member in the game and I'm probably dead this turn. And completely defeated. I just got FFC'd, my friends. And I will be right back. Well, I just got FFC'd again. And actually I should Before I forget, I should go to the collector's house and see what I get for the fourth glass bottle. Come on, let be something good. That four glass bottle. He doesn't give you anything? Lame. Okay, I FFC'd this boss. After it FFC'd me two times, by the way. It FFC'd me two times. Oops, blah. Uh, we got rid of it, and we got the fire relic. Wait, the Fire Relic is very good. It gives physical attack strength ten plus 10%. Ten and, and I think it's special move is... Uh, what? Should I give that to Hero? Or uh, nah. By the way, my Greg learned Smash Dive, which you probably are, you know what it does, because you just saw what it did. Unless you just... Uh... Now the game doesn't tell you where to go. Oh, uh, so. Oh, yeah. Uh. Uh, after you get out there, out of the dungeon, in any sorts, this is Ficky for all. Uh, basically, they. Uh, basically, this cut scene will trigger. You're, now, the game does not tell you where to go, so... You basically go north. Herfin. So, yeah. I guess I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.